here's how you calculate how much freight you can haul. We're starting with the basics and that's okay. GCWR minus GVW gives you your capacity. This is how much space or how much weight I should say you have available for paying loads. So GCWR minus GVW gives you how much weight you have available to get paid on. Right away, your first thing might be, what's all these G's and V's and whatnot? And, that, and that's fine. Let's go over the three most common abbreviations. They are GVW, gross vehicle weight. GVWR, gross vehicle weight rating. GCWR is gross combination weight rating. And I want to break each one and how I'm using it in the context right now because not everybody uses them the same. So GVW stands for gross vehicle weight. And that is what you weigh right now. This is if you go on the scale and you weigh yourself, that's your GVW. I'm using it with it. Keep in mind empty. I'm using it empty. Now, this isn't just like you just got your trailer empty. This is you're ready to go get loaded empty. So with your tarps, with your straps, with everything else, this is how I'm using it. Empty, but ready to work. The next one is GVWR. This is gross vehicle weight rating, and that is what the manufacturer says your truck or your trailer individually can handle. So this is your the rating of your vehicle individually. How much can this thing weigh individually? And even though I wrote my the, my truck, that's my bad. It's how much can your vehicle weigh maximum? What does the company that made your truck or trailer say it can weigh maximum legal weight? Gross combination weight rating is when you combine, obviously, two vehicles. So you have your truck and your trailer. What are they rated? What do the companies that make your truck and trailer say they can take? That's the rating. What are they rated for? That is the maximum weight allowed for your combination. So now that you know what all of those mean, and most of you probably already know, but still, this had to be just gone over through really quickly. So now that that's in the books, go back to gross or let's go back to gross combination weight rating sub minus gross vehicle weight. And that gives you your paying, like paying freight availability. And so co gross combination weight rating, everything your truck and trailer are legally allowed to take, gross vehicle weight, what you weigh when you're ready to work with yourself in it, with the tarps, with the straps, with everything. The difference between those two is how much paying loads you can take. Mine is close to 10,000. That is not and has nothing to do with the 10,000 that says in the class A, where it says provided that the, the towed unit is 10, in excess of 10,000 pounds. That has nothing to do with that. I recently got asked, hey, can you take 10,000 pounds because you want to have a CDL? Do not get this confused. What you can put on your trailer has nothing to do with CDL, guys. So I just wanted to clarify that. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're really, really rich and you want to be the only carbon fiber everything hotshot. That's your life goal, to be the only carbon fiber hotshot. And so you make your whole trailer out of carbon fiber. You make your whole truck out of carbon fiber. You would cut out a ton of weight and you would reduce your GVW substantially. But if your gross combination weight rating does not change because you just weigh less and your gross combination weight rating stays the same, you don't need a CDL, but you've increased your capacity dramatically. All right, so as you saw, I pulled onto the scale. Right here, you can see it double checks your location. And if the location number on here matches up with the sign, 
then you type that number in, okay? And so once you type that number in, it takes you to the next screen that I cut out. The next screen is your company information, your truck and trailer number, and if, you, if need be, your license plates. So after you double check that stuff, you click accept and it charges you right away to the debit, credit card, whatever, that you linked to the app. And this you set up in advance to have it work this quickly. It's so already did that. But still, as you can see, there you go. Um, uh, hold on, let's go back to that really fast. Okay, here you go. As you can see, I weigh 16,200 pounds. This is me with my tarps, with my tanks full, with everything. 16,200 pounds. That means I could take 9,800. Pretty dang close to 2,000. So, and it breaks down each axle just like it does, but but still, this is how you t figure out how much weight you can put on your trailer. So I am registered for 26,000. I weigh 16,200. You do the math, 9,800. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions below, leave a comment. If you like these videos, hit that like button. Let me know that you like them by hitting that like button. And of course, don't forget to this. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe because I'm pushing out more and more videos. And if you want to get the notification of my recent video, you got to be subscribed. I, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.